Problem number six. Write out code that will print out the following without using a print statement like this, which would obviously be an easy way of doing it. This looks a whole lot like the 10 by 10 grid of asterisks that we did before. We can use mostly the same bit of code and just adjust that a bit in order to get this output. To create that 10 by 10 grid of asterisks, we used two nested for loops. There's number one, and then before we printed an asterisk, and I'm going to go ahead and put that in here, just to make sure we get at least that far. This will print 100 asterisks on the same line. There's one more line of code I need in order to, after I finish printing the row, go to the next line. And the code to print the row, row is right here. So after that, right here with the indentation, I'm going to need to go to the next line. Save it. Run it. I have a 10 by 10 grid of asterisks. Now what I need instead is instead of printing an asterisk right here, I need to print a number 0 and then 1 and then 2. Really I need some sort of number that starts out at 0 and as this loop gets bigger goes up to 9. I could create a separate variable and use that and just add 1 to it every time, but that would be pointless because that is exactly what this variable does right here. This variable starts out at 0 and goes up to 9. If I want to print out 0 going up to 9, I don't do this. I just need to put in a j. Let's give it a try. Replace that asterisk with a j. Go ahead and save it. Run it. And I get a 10 by 10 grid of j's. What did I do wrong? Obviously, if I want a j, exactly. I put quotes around it. If I want the value that is contained in J, I don't put quotes around it. Save this, run it, and I've got the answer to my problem.